Time to get some bed tonight. Oh, this guy's hitting a wheelie. Look at this. Hey, do a wheelie. Do a wheelie. Dude, Denton is popping this morning, man. Everyone's vibing, having a good time. He was like, no hesitation. He looked at you, he's like, he's an old guy, too. <laughs> yeah, he's an older dude. What was that, a Grom? It looked like a yeah. little Grom. We're out here, we're in the streets getting some, some B night. This is the big day, boys. Filling the patch in the pond. If today we can seal the pond with this bentonite, this will be a huge leap for the pond project. We were, we're at uh, Dennis's farm store. It's the only place I was able to find that night in stock. I called Tractor Supply, I called a bunch of feed stores. Everyone was like, no sir, no sir, what's bentonite? Sodium bentonite, what's that? Is that a drug? No, <laughs> it's not a drug, but I'm sure you could probably smoke it if you wanted to. It's what we need to seal the pond. So we're gonna hit up Dennis, see if uh, he's got a couple bags. I think we'll need quite a few, but today is, a, is an exciting and very fun day. A lot of time, I don't know how they do it nowadays. We used to take that bent night, and all you do is you get a boat, throw it out in the water, and it'd go right to the hole. Sinks right to right the, where the leak was. The leak is, yeah. I'm hoping that's as easy as it's going to be, honestly. Thank you. I appreciate your help today. They're bagging us up right now. Buddy's back there having fun with the forklift. I'm pretty jealous right now. He's he's getting our bent night. I got 15 bags. I believe that was Dennis behind the counter. If not, I'm sorry. Just assume your name is Dennis. He said that, that was too much. I'm going all out, baby. I want as many bags of bed night I can possibly get. Let's go up right here and I'll bring the forklift. Okay, up. gotcha, thank you. There's like 30 f***ing things going on at once right now. Like they're doing construction over here. There's a chick with a cone. She's picking it up and putting it down. Wherever I'm driving, she's just putting it down. And there's one guy who's literally standing right there and he starts pointing to the sky like, what am I supposed to pray? Like, is is, guy, is he coming? Is, is there a meteor about to hit us? This place is crazy, dude. There's a lot of shit going on. We saw a dog off a of Perk 30 thing that was seizing in front of us. <laughs> Not the dog that y'all saw. It was a different dog. It was a little chihuahua with no teeth. It was literally seizing. Crazy stuff. Oh, keep going. We're putting the camera in. Caleb's like, we can't put this in. Like, well, we're putting this in. Okay. We know, touch that green button. Thank you. Well, before we head to the pond, I had to make a quick pit stop at the Guggen HQ. The location, if you guys don't know yet, it's at 2345 Nail Road in Crum, Texas, right next to uh, Denton off of 380. So if you guys wanna come through here and meet up and obviously pick up some baits, please do so. What's going on, John? Morning. We just came here to uh, bother you, as we always do. How's the shop doing? It's, uh, it's lively. Is it? A little bit. Really? It's today Saturday? Yeah. So Saturday. it should be li yeah, it should be lively. What? Oh my god, like there it is right there. <laughs> five trucks just pulled up. That's all it takes is for that ten o'clock to hit and then <laughs> boom, let's go. That's, all day. That's crazy, dude. That looks awesome in here. We got oh let's check out the bass. Speaking of fish that aren't in a pond, these are the two little F1 strains that we purchased. Uh, what was that, a couple of weeks ago? They look good. And then I think the big bluegill is lurking somewhere. He's so dark you can barely see him. He like blends in with the backdrop. Uh, oh, he's back there. Y'all probably cannot see him. Actually, yeah, you can pretty good. There he is. Anyway, like I said, if you guys want to come through here, uh, hang out, you know, I'm sure Rackley will be here uh, on occasion. Rob, I'm sure, stops by here every now and then as well. I like coming here because it's not too far and we can pull through, talk fishing and all that. And I had like a little tiny meetup a couple days ago and it was awesome to meet some of you guys who, who came through and picked up some baits and just kind of wanted to shoot the shit, share stories, which is pretty dope. <laughs> also, we got new spring merch available. By the time you're watching this, we have already probably had it on the store for quite some time. But if you guys want to check out the new stuff, we've got some dress gear, class gear, collared shirts. But we also got the, the classic performance gear, shorts as well, and some really neat designs. But my man over here is looking fly. So if you guys want to check that out, it'll be linked down below. Use my code Jombie to save 10% off your entire freaking order.
<laughs> my bad dude i'm sorry i literally called it i'm like i'm definitely gonna hit the camera we're unloading the sb right now little quick fun fact for you guys if you don't know what sodium bentonite is i'm about to learn you it's actually a i believe a natural product and it acts as like a water absorbent it's used in many facets it's a very versatile mineral but one common uh, instance in which sodium bentonite is used very regularly is in cat litter because it uh, has like a 12x absorbent and that's one of the reasons why it's so great for ponds and sealing ponds it's very dense so it sinks down to the bottom fills up those cracks and over a course of you know about a month it will slowly hopefully stop the leak in your pond or in this case the pond that we have in the backyard. You know, I'm not gonna spread it all throughout the pond. There's one specific area in which I found two leaks. And when we throw the drone up, you'll be able to see them. It's where the grass is very dense and green. And although that grass isn't really adjacent to the actual dam of the pond, what's happening is that water is seeping through underneath the dam and coming up on the lower end side. And for those of you who've been keeping up with the series of the pond restoration, you probably know that the pond's gone through many different stages. It was dug out once um, by an excavator. He went a little bit too deep, hit rock and that's generally in the deeper area. So that's where we're gonna focus mostly on. The rest of the pond is fairly shallow and it's been packed in with clay. So that isn't a cause for concern. It's just that deep area where there's a bit of rock that, uh, that uh, I guess got uncovered and is causing the leak. But I think this is a good solution. In the last video, we installed this sweet little ruler that I handcrafted with all my ingenuity and craftsmanship. And uh, the reason why we installed this is to measure the weekly drop of this pond. So we get an idea and can kind of compare and contrast once we do apply the bentonite if there is any change, um, because if there's not, we'll have to go with a, probably a second layer bentonite or damn it, which I think is like, damn it is not like damn it, like the like the swear, it's like damn it, which now I'm realizing is hilarious and a play on words. But anyway, damn it is something that we might have to add if we realize the water is still dropping at the rate it has been. So when we first took the picture, it looked like this. Um, it was right at the two and what is that two and three two and three tenths mark and now yeah uh, like roughly the same it hasn't gone down too too much which is crazy but that is deceiving what the hell that really hasn't dropped too much it's probably dropped like an inch maybe it was also super windy that day too so it's tough to get a solid measurement on that huh like do we even need to add sodium bentonite so it's, it's actually under the the three in this picture and granted that was only a week ago over long periods of time with natural evaporation this will get down pretty fast and we do have a leak because you can physically see the water seeping out from underneath the dam uh, this is a nice little measurement we'll keep an eye on this it'll probably take weeks before we see a true drastic change after the bent night but i don't want to see that go down any more than it already is we're off there's really no like straightforward method when applying this stuff other than making sure you're covering as much water as you possibly can and should sink down fairly quickly too so it's one of those things where once it's in the water it'll make its way to the bottom of the pond and over a period of I think a couple of weeks it'll start sealing it's not like one of those instant things it's not like gorilla glue it'd be nice if they make gorilla glue for ponds because I would definitely use it but yeah, well, I'm just going to kind of let the wind drift me and I'm going to start here and make my way down. Super dense. You can see like the little individual granulates of this stuff too. And as it's kind of slowly making its way down, it's really cool. This right here, I don't know if you guys, I mean, when we throw the drone up, I'll kind of pinpoint it out to you guys, but where my kayak is right now, I think is 
the main area where I've got a nasty leak. It's the deepest point in the pond. And uh, yeah, I mentioned this prior, it's where uh, the original guy took his excavator out here and, and basically told me that he hit a bit of, wow, I do not want to throw that upwind, hit a bit of rock. So that's definitely, uh, that's definitely one of the causes for this pond dropping. But yeah, this stuff's pretty easy to apply. You can already see it's kind of spreading out right now and it's slowly making its way down. Almost looks like there's a mud line in my ponds. Uh, and I imagine after a couple of hours, it'll look pretty normal. You getting some bentonite in your face? Nice. Lucky. Well, the kayak is covered in bentonites, but today was a successful day. We got one step closer to potentially sealing our pond. That feels good, man. And you know what? If we need to reapply, we can, because I've got like 80 freaking bags in the back of my truck. So if like later down, down the road, like next month or later this month, we need to do another, another little sweep, another little layer of that bee night, we should be good. But before we head out and do some fishing today and do some kind of fun laid back casting, I want to see if I can get some underwater shots of what is lurking down here, seeing as the water is just so crystal clear and the sun is high. So I'm going to take the GoPro water and see if I can stock a bass or two. I think there's a fish on a bed over there, so we're going to see if we can get him on footage for y'all. He didn't look too good, but at least we'll uh, be able to get a shot of him. Check the line right at the hook. It might be a little frayed, but it's straight. Ba -ba -ba, ba -ba. There is no one like me. I think it's a fish right alongside it. No. Oh, it did. Oh. Oh. Yep, it is. oh. Not only is it a fish, but it is a bass on a stringer. Oh, there's two bass on a stringer. Okay. Well, at least we know they're up shallow. Wow. Oh, wow. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a largemouth bass on a stringer. Oh my God, that's up. When's uh, the Bass Mafia swim it up? It's out. Is it? Not the uh, loaded one. Yeah. The unloaded one is out. It wasn't a big one, but it was a fish. That's the one I just missed. That's awesome. Way in the back of the creek. Oh, tiny one come on. Come here, buddy. Oh my gosh, absolutely choked it. Well, guys, we're switching things up. As you can see, we're on the big pond now, doing a bit of bass fishing. Got ourselves the first fish of the day. Caleb's actually doing some bassing as well. Just kind of a chill little three hour sesh. We've got beautiful weather. We might as well seize the day. This is a largemouth. Just doing a little bit of pond activities today along with some bassin. Springtime fishing, man. Water temp 65, that fish was like an inch of water right where she needed to be. All right, so I should say he. Let's see, bud. You. Not the ending I was hoping for us. Kind of anticipating a nice little pond restoration session followed with some bass banging and some fishing and cracking on some jaws but it just was not like that today got a couple fish i can't complain I mean, it's a beautiful day out here really more than anything other than catching a couple fish caught a vibe um <laughs> anyway this is uh this is pretty exciting though uh seeing as this is like the official day number two of the pond restoration from here on out comes a lot of the fun stuff where we get to you know actually stock the fish put some structure in there and just get really creative with this pond. Like I have so many ideas. Caleb and I have actually been riffing off some concepts that we have for the pond. Like for example, one thing that we're definitely gonna do is dive in the actual backyard pond and see what we can see with like a GoPro. I think that'd be really freaking cool, especially since it's so clean and clear. Um, the other thing I wanna do is eventually build a dock, but not just any ordinary dock, like a really sick dock, put dock lights on it, put like little structures under the dock. Like I have so much stuff, the only thing left to do 
is to bring it to fruition. And also, I wanna hear some thoughts and ideas and concepts you guys have in mind. Use the comment section below to give those ideas and uh, we'll try to make it happen. Sky's limp with the pond. I'm feeling really happy and, and confident now that we got the bent night in. And it should slow the leak that we uh, have had for almost over a year now. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed yet another part to the pond restoration. She lives on the backyard bass, big bass factory. The backyard, <laughs> I'm so tired. The bass, the big bass, the big bass factory is coming together nicely. Just wait until we put some actual big bass in there and it's uh, it's gonna be pretty sweet. But anyway, I'm Peace and Outside Out. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. As always, folks, keep catching dinks. Never stop. <laughs>